Ooh. New week, new vlog. Welcome back to my channel. It's another week and this week is my last week of maternity leave and I'm heading back home. I mean heading <laughs> heading back to work. Honestly, it's really really sad. Um I'm not mentally prepared for it, but in this economy, in this lifetime, you just gotta do what you gotta do. I am just getting ready because I'm going to Abaya Mall. The Abaya Mall, it's basically, you know, from its name, it's Abayas and like dresses and all that good stuff. Um, I am going to buy some new Abayas for work. Because all my abayas are very old, used and abused. So, yeah. I basically only wear abaya to work. So that's why I don't really bother um, buying... I don't really bother buying new ones. Because it's expensive in a lot of places. And also it's hot around here so i don't really use it on a daily but i am wearing an abaya today but it's just like a very light abaya it's also eid this week so me and hubby are planning to spend it together i say that because usually he's working like all the time but we get to spend this eat together and then also I bought a kandora for Rashad if you don't know what kandora is it's like the national um, dress for Imanati men so I bought him that and I want to wear it I want him to wear it for eat and like take pictures with him as a memory and then what else then i'm hoping to have a girls night out this week before i head back to work like one last hurrah but you know what i mean um going out i don't know i'm just I've, I haven't had a night out in like forever but yeah I have my hair up because it is hot in Dubai and when I tell you it's hot Yanni is so hot that I'm not even gonna put any makeup on I don't want my hair down so this is my daytime hair and then for nighttime it's just a messy updo so this is the mall y'all this is the mall right here y'all this is it let's see how it goes i'm hoping it's not too expensive excuse me yes okay Three come. Three. So Amna found the shop that sells the same exact design <laughs> as someone, um, but the fabric is just different. But it's just the same style, but it's a lot uh, cheaper. Oh, they have! I didn't see this sign, Amna. I didn't see these. Yeah. So I went abaya shopping today for the summer. So let me show you guys all the abayas that I got. Okay, first I got this purple tie-dye abaya. It is so beautiful, especially when I get a little bit darker and get a tan. It will look amazing. So I just got this tie-dye one. It is so beautiful. It's light and airy and it's just really, really pretty. Next one, I got this stand right here it's like an ombre and all the fabrics are very light and airy that is perfect for summer or spring or as just like a cover-up if you're if you don't wear shabai and abaya 
purple. I just got this color, which is, I don't know, some will say green, some will say blue. I don't know. But it comes with a shade. It's so pretty. I really like the color and it just fits perfect. Next one, I got this blue abaya. Um, it's ombre. So it comes with this style. I think this is linen. So the fabric is very light and airy for the summer as well. And I just paired it with this white shana as well. Same as the last one. And it is just this design. And it is so pretty. And then this one absolutely blew my mind. Like if I'm wearing an abaya this summer, it would be this yellow ombre abaya that is just amazing it is so pretty it's the same fabric as the blue one and it is just i love it I, like, i'm obsessed i'm pairing it with this white um shenna it also comes with a yellow one but i think yellow and yellow just look a little bit too much so i think i'm just gonna wear the white one with it so this is one of my favorites but let me show you guys my ultimate favorite my favorite from all these abayas that i bought come on come on like how beautiful is this abaya how beautiful how my friend actually is the one who saw this in the shop but she didn't want to buy it anymore so i'm the one who bought it it's just this beautiful flower design right here and i matched it with the same um color as the design so here's a tip if you have a print if you're wearing a print and you want like a shela with it then the least amount of color in your abaya is the one that should be the shela color that you have you know what I mean so for example here there's a lot of white the brown is showing obviously but not the blue it's very subtle so that's the abaya that you use as well and this was so good with my skin tone as well and it's just absolutely perfect for the summer and all of these abayas are affordable like when I tell you it's affordable yeah I mean it will make you buy two three four five abayas but yeah, let me know which one is your favorite because mine is definitely this one. Okay, I'm all done getting red. See, I can't believe I'm wearing white. So my top is pretty little thing. My jeans are Zara. I don't know the name of the bag. I don't know the name of the necklace. But yeah, this is the brunch look right here. I look like a professional mom. <laughs> I don't know, but I look so classy and elegant. I just hope I don't sweat my makeup off. That's what I'm hoping for. I really don't know how to tie this around, so I just like, I like it's whatever. It is, it is what it is, whatever. Good thing I'm pretty, good thing I'm pretty. You got my fan with me? Sorry, two Hello. slices. That's yes, fine. I can take your name. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you. Hi guys, we are heading out today because Rashad is gonna get a haircut. We're actually gonna get him bald. His head has been really, really dry and flaky, so. We just decided to shave him off. So that's what we're doing today. And we're taking our nanny today because I'm just too anxious. If he screams his lungs out, I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying, so. Also, my camera broke. It just like completely stopped working. I don't know what is wrong with it, but this is from my phone, clearly. Let me know if it's good or not. I mean, iPhones are really, really great right now, but I'm just wearing this skin dress, you know, 
Now that's all I wear. The skin stress right here. Really comfortable. But I think I'm gonna use my phone more often because I am shy to take my camera everywhere, especially some places in Dubai. It's not really allowed to film, like Sephora, for example, because it's all women. So I think I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna start using my phone maybe that way. I'll vlog more. And the quality of front is not that bad. Like it's not that bad at all. Kid outfit so cute so cute mommy say hi okay it's not in the mood he's sleepy <laughs> i bought a polaroid photo album because i wanted to collect memories like back in the 90s and early 2000s so i got these i bought three because i wanted this um album to be just for rashad's pictures and then this as us as a family and then this is us as a couple because i do have our pictures right there but it's getting a lot so i needed to get an album and also we can save it and he can have them with him there's Bubba. Good morning <laughs> and Eid Mubarak everyone. I know this is not the appropriate way to welcome Eid, but this is reality right here, okay? But um it's been a hectic, hectic morning. Obviously, I look like a mess, but um it's the first day of Eid today and we're not really doing anything because Ryan has work. So I'm just going to head out and cut my hair today. That's a first because my hair is really, really thick and I don't like it. So I just want to keep it the same length. But I want layers on it so that, you know, it's not too short and it's not too long. It's just right. And also it's not going to be too thick. And then me and the baby is just going to chill today at home. And then we got to take a picture as a family, of course, because it's our eat. And then it is Rashad's second month today. He is two months now, which is really, really fast. Like time is passing by like crazy. And then on Monday, I am back to work. So that's kind of crazy. I'm not like mentally prepared for that, but it's whatever. It is what it is. And then tomorrow for Reed, Ryan is finally off. So we're going to go to the pool and then we're going to go have dinner. And then on Friday, listen, on Friday, it's girls night. Okay, so I am so excited for girls night and i'm just going out for dinner but of course you know when girls go out you gotta dress up the makeup the pictures the laughs the giggles all that good stuff so i'm so excited for that i haven't had a girls night out in like three probably four years three years i don't know but that never happened before so i wonder how a girls night is gonna go now that i'm a mom probably no difference because i'm still me deep down inside i'm excited to go and just have a good time on friday i'm also really excited to go out tomorrow and just spend time with ryan it's been a while honestly when you have a baby i can see why a lot of um you know couples get divorced or like you know grow apart because it's just a busy chaotic hectic day every single day but thank god like me and ryan do understand this type of things and we do you know expect all of this stuff and we do understand that it's not temporary and regardless of how busy or tired we both are eventually we're gonna find time for each other so but anyways let me go shower and get ready because This is an insane way to celebrate Eid, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, I just finished 
getting ready something super simple nothing too extra you know when you gotta get your haircut you gotta do your makeup so that you can see that it looks good <laughs> so i just did a no foundation makeup and then i wore this dress that i got for eid al fitr so for eid al fitr i was still heavily nine months pregnant and when i wore this i literally look like a big ass disco ball yeah so this is what it's looking like right now pretty pretty so i'm just waiting for ryan and then we're gonna take a family picture and then i'm gonna head out to cut my hair hopefully it turns out good oh my god you guys i booked the wrong lay day i was saying sonia 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 and she's actually sobia and sobia is not here today so i have to go back tomorrow morning which sucks because i'm going to the pool tomorrow so after i get my haircut in the morning i'm gonna go to the pool i don't know i don't know should i just do it on friday maybe i think i should just do it on friday so that i have a fresh hair because i'm going out friday night yeah i think that's the best option and by the way i feel like i really like vlogging on my phone i feel like it's very underestimated it's very convenient first of all i don't have to shove a camera or take out a big camera out all the time and then it's just on my phone so i can edit on my phone the last two videos that i've posted i've edited i edited that on my phone because obviously i can sit on the computer for hours with a baby so that's just what i did and i actually like it it's more convenient so i think that's what i'm gonna start doing i think i'm gonna just start using my phone um for vlogging but let me know what you guys think i think it still looks good it looks good and i can see myself so like clearly see myself on like a small screen from a camera did i have coffee this morning i did so i have no excuse to go to starbucks yeah i'm gonna just go home you guys this heat is insane it's like 50,000 degrees out here but it's friday today skip today is fine because I didn't want to stay with him anyways because I am going back to work soon but today is Friday I'm on my way to get my hair cut and it's girls night tonight it's gonna be a great night I'm excited for the Jamaican food we're about to have you guys know if you know you know if you follow me on Instagram you know that I love Jamaican okay i love it i'm getting my haircut today because yesterday was eid today is eid as well today is the last day so yesterday she the hairdresser was off still for eid so um yeah so that's why i'm getting it today which is good so that i can have my hair done by tonight and i don't have to worry about it anymore i just have my karibu spanish latte people are sleeping on it it's honestly amazing the best it's way better than starbucks when starbucks had that spanish latte trash get your and it's cheaper listen let me sit the fuck down. So I'm pissed. <laughs> it is so short. Not what I asked for. I told her to cut my hair till here. Till here. And she cut it until my shoulder. And to make me feel better, on an attempt to make me feel better, she said, oh, don't worry, my hands are light, your hair is gonna grow back really fast. Excuse me? Now, why would you say that? Because you knew you fucked up, right? You knew 
you know you messed up you know you messed up that's why you're saying that to me so short look at that and i just look crazy i look absolutely crazy good thing is layered and not like a straight you know just one cut but i don't know i'm gonna see how i look like later with makeup on and my dress i mean my outfit but i do not like this i know ryan is gonna make fun of me because he always tells me that you go to the random salons and you get your hair cut just miss me lying your way into it and you don't know if it's good or not and i'm like well how am i gonna know if it's good or not if you know i don't cut my hair i don't know why she butchered mine i mean it's not butchered it still look good maybe i just need to i'm gonna fix it later i'm gonna put some makeup on and stuff and it's gonna look good hopefully <laughs> i'm all done getting ready and it looks better look my i put my hair like this mm -hmm. the shoes can you don't can you cuff it? i mean it has a slit so i don't know mm -hmm. so this is the outfit these are my oh, babies <laughs> Put a little thing pants and a Zara top. And then Sheen bangles, excuse me. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm extremely hungry, so I can't wait to eat. <laughs>